Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and I'm coming today with another one uh, page art journal episode. I've got here my uh, paper and I do have one old envelope so I'm gonna use it today for my base. So I'm gonna prepare my base as as before. Measure the paper, how big I want to have that paper. I'm gonna cut that strip. Fold this. Here I'm gonna prepare the flap of my envelope. And I'm gonna cut the sides. And also measure how far I want to go with my flap. So three and three quarter, three and three quarter. And I'm gonna use my glue and glue my cardstock on this strip. I do have my flap and uh, this other side, it's kind of rough. So I'm gonna use my paper strips. These are strips from office paper. Uh, I think it's called linen paper or... Um, I think it's called linen paper. I will put link down below from what kind of paper. I've got those strips if you want to buy it for your craft room. And here the rest I'm going to cut off. And because I like those strips, I made kind of like frames all around. Uh, I'm going to take my paper and I've got here old book pages and some off cuts. And I'm going to glue them not on all that space, but here and there. I'm gonna glue them on my page and do some kind of texture on my paper. Just like this, I'm gonna cut all papers around. With my scissors, I'm gonna cut everything just kind of peeking out from my paper. And I'm gonna take uh, these two blue uh, acrylic paints, uh, both are from Dogcraft, I think. Deco Art, this is Deco Art, this is Dogcraft Artist acrylic paint, this is electric blue, and this one it's navy blue. And I'm gonna put, oi, yeah, mix it first. This is what you get if you don't use your paints for a long time. And one more time. That's much better. And I'm gonna take my brayer and with my brayer I'm gonna kind of mix those two colors together spray a little bit of water and just apply and I think I'm going to do the same here. So I think my pages are dry. And I've got here this color. This is Sage from Artiste, Dogcraft Artiste. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to put a little bit of that painting here on my table. And it's really beautiful. Like very soft green color and I'm gonna do exactly the same so both of my pieces are kind of dry I've got here this Nouveau acrylic uh, painting this is ivory and I've got here brush with uh, hard hair and I'm gonna do some stenciling I already mixed this <laughs> to make sure 
I will have the proper color. Look at here, this uh, stencil, I found it on uh, AliExpress. I will have a look if I will find again the link. And I'm going to do some stenciling. And I'm using this brush just because uh, it's. I think it's the best for stenciling to use brush and just tap, 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 tap. your color into that stencil and have kind of like dry brush not not totally dry but not too much painting on it and I will do same on my envelope and it looks like this so nice easy stenciling and I'm gonna dry this before I will apply another coat somewhere and here I think I want to have also the maps, so I'm going to place it this way. And I'm going to stencil all that space on my envelope. I do have my stenciling, I just kind of mix it with Tim Holtz stencil, uh, with this one it's, what is it there, THMM5, THMM5, with this one, place it here and there, and now with same color, I'm kind of dubbing on the edges, and I'm gonna do same with my envelope, yeah, I think like this. I'm gonna let it dry, I'm gonna do same with my envelope, do same shading on the edges and I will try to do same around the window, uh, yeah maybe, now with wet wipe, baby wipe and I'm gonna wipe that painting from the acetate piece. Yeah, I can do the board. So I'm gonna continue all around of this envelope. So both of my pieces are dry. I'm gonna take my envelope and this black uh, paper and I'm gonna glue to my envelope on my paper. I'm gonna glue the flap. The bottom under that window. I'm gonna keep there about one inch space and that opposite side and I will keep the frame with that uh, black window around this envelope so I do have done uh, that uh, my envelope uh, not not yet I do have that base part I did sewing I started here and I did sewn all around and I here I stopped and I sewn down there to make sure that this will be not sewn because that will be the pocket. So I do have that base. can fold it now and I'm gonna make a closure. So one inch uh, circle punch, some old box or you know cardboard box and uh, not cardboard box. Um, cereal box or something I'm gonna punch two circles I'm gonna punch the holes in the middle I think somewhere here yeah uh, close enough and I'm gonna take uh, faded jeans distress ink and I'm gonna add the color to those circles it will be a little bit darker than is my background and I'm gonna take two eyelets, close my envelope and I will place the circles where I want to see them. I think one here. Draw and one here and draw. I'm gonna punch the holes and fix those circles. So first here.
and now on the flap it will be with string string put the through I let with circle and fix it together so I do have prepared my wrapping so this will be cover for my uh, art page and I'm gonna continue with this with my stamps I'm gonna start to stamp some uh, small papers and I already started with this uh, stamp and those this is number of these stamps it's small typewriter alphabet it's big like this and it has uh, uppercase and lowercase as well and it's really beautiful so I already started I've got here these stamps I found them on Aliexpress and I will try to find the link for them and I'm just gonna do my small documents so I do have my mini stamped images and I'm gonna take uh, antique linen distress ink and I'm gonna distress all of them with this antique linen and I will also take my scissors and kind of distress the edges to make it look used and you know and maybe even destroyed so I do have my small documents prepared and from my sheets uh, with images from my books uh, I do have a few of these sheets and as usual you can find some of them on that uh, buy me a coffee <laughs> website but they are for free so go to the link will be down below and i do have here my markers so i'm gonna try to color <laughs> my images but first i think i'm gonna start with faces and for faces i'm gonna take this kohinoor collection uh, these are pencils for artists uh, this collection is especially for faces and hair and eyes so beautiful collection of, of marker oh, markers pencils and I'm gonna color the faces and hands with those pencils I think I'm gonna take these and I will try yeah like this and I think I'm gonna take pencil also for the beer here and for hair I don't want to make his head too dark yeah and the rest I'm gonna give it a try with my pencils so oh with my markers so first it will be and here I'm gonna take this under And color is uniform. So I think <laughs> I'm done with my images. I'm trying to go around the edges of my images with this black marker on all these white pieces. And my boys are done. And I'm gonna start to place it all together. I've got here this uh, Studio Acrylics um, PBO Bindex, Bindex, and it's acrylic binder. And I found that it's wonderful for gluing my pieces and for making like a uh, top coat. So where I will start? I think I'm gonna start with this guy and I'm gonna glue him on my page and I will try to put this bindex on all the other back of this boy and 
place him right here. Yep. And go over. And with this bindex, I'm going to also seal all that background. And here this little boy. So he's going to be here, I believe. And place him down. And now my small pieces. This one. Maybe this one. And I'm gonna seal all that background with this bindex. I'm gonna just wipe it all over and let it dry so it's all dry and I'm gonna make some shading we've got here clear water we've got my brush this is brush from my makeup collection <laughs> and it's nicely shaped so I hope it will go well and here I've got some plastic and I've got here a little bit of black uh, acrylic paint and that binde uh, bindex that uh, acrylic binder and I'm gonna mix them together. This is just simple, just very cheap acrylic paint. That's why I'm uh, this one. That's why I'm mixing it with that bindex. And we will do some shading. Just with simple strokes around to do light shading. And again, take a little bit of that paint just on those first strokes or first hair. And again, I'm going to take just a little bit of that painting. Just very lightly. I do those strokes or those uh, uh, smooshes left to the right many times, many times to make sure I will have that just a small amount of that paint on my brush. I learned this from Inspirello. I will put link uh, for her instructions video down below. So you can watch how she does this uh, shading or that, uh, yeah, that shading on her projects. It is in Polish language, but, uh, you know, she's showing everything really beautifully. So I do believe even if you will don't understand what she's saying, you will understand from what she's doing. So I will put link down below where from I learned that. And I nearly forgot my quote which was inspire me to do this layout. <laughs> this one. I love deadlines. I like the whooshing sound they make as they fly by. 
and I really like that. So I'm gonna place my cloth and I'm gonna do shading all around as well. I totally forgot about my quote. So I do have done my layout and I'm gonna take my cover for my mini journal and I'm gonna put a glue and I'm gonna place it here, fold my cover and fold it over. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this glue. So I'm gonna put glue here, here on the bottom, and here. That way I will create pocket and I'm gonna fold it over. And press and another page of my mini journals it's done I can close it and I'm happy I finished that if I will don't do any other I'm gonna be happy with this I'm gonna be satisfied so I hope you took some inspiration I hope you did enjoy this small sharing I really like those simple you know one page uh, mini journals it doesn't give me that anxiety that there is so many other pages and maybe I will never have any other idea this is my <laughs> deadline brexit idea what I have created I hope you found some inspiration thank you so much for sharing your time with me today have a beautiful day take care about yourself and I will see you soon bye